I've been painting graffiti for quite a long time now, um, many years, and I see many other graffiti artists around me and on the online, and graffiti has become big all over the world, right? Whether it's France, UK, Europe, we see everywhere. Banksy has made graffiti. Uh, it's become, he's like a household name. Like everyone knows Banksy, right? So graffiti has gone to another dimension in terms of it's become more appreciated. So actually for me, amidst all of this, in the middle of all of this, I felt as an artist, I have to push beyond and do something fresh, new, pushing the boundaries is essential. So I recently started to develop um, taking graffiti into different areas like theater, painting live on a stage, um, bringing sounds and video and combining that with live painting and making it more, just taking graffiti and bringing it Bringing, bringing it to life in a way. And for me, creating something which takes the user or the viewer and you immerse them, you take them in to something where they're looking, they're listening, they're feeling and they're touching and they're going inside of some art that you make. Something I like to do. So as I mentioned, theatre is one aspect that I'm developing. But another one is the, uh, the digital experience, if you like. So I'm, I'm developing something called uh, the Dream Cube. It's a cube that you go inside. You might find it on my website, yeah. maybe. But you, I've already delivered it once in Malaysia about yeah. two, three months ago. So there's, I'm, I'm kind of building on that. That was a good pilot because it really was, surprised me, in fact. Even I was amazed. I used it as a test. I thought, let's see how. But you know, there's not much graffiti in that. Well, there is, I suppose, because people were writing their messages. So it was still about writing a message. But that wasn't the focus of it, you know? It wasn't a painting or anything. It was, you know, it was interactive. It was how do you engage the people to be involved with the art form, to collectively create, rather than mm -hmm. I'm the creator of the art and people are just the receiver, the, 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 the audience, how did the audience engage with that creation of the art um, and it lay, builds and builds and builds and then you're creating this art collectively um, and creating an emotional experience for people. That was, that's important for me because for me good art has to create emotion, it has to um, hit people here inside. If it's not doing that, if it doesn't connect here, then what's the point of creating this art? If it's just something you look at, you see it nice, and you go away, then what's the point? I, th I think really I feel that as an artist, we should all be striving to make that connection here. And if you can't, if you haven't made art, that makes you shed a tear at one time in your life, then you've got to question, well, am I really making an impact on people? I'm not saying every time, but you need to be seeing how you're going to really connect with people. And I'm not saying we should, whether we're talking about something that is emotional and brings sadness to your eyes, but inspires you to think and feel something to the point that it might give you mixed emotions. That's why I feel that, as an artist, we, we, we need to, because if we don't do that, we're, on, we're in a position, as artists, I think it's a very unique position in that we are able to say things that nobody else can say, and art has the power to do that.